What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the War Room. I'm your boy Mech Tactical. Today I'm going to talk about the Falcon M17 Race Gun Build Episode 1. This is going to be technical. Um, I hope that you guys can take something away from this show and explain that I'm going to do. And first I'm going to explain why I did what I did. So if you guys have been following my channel or if you're giant M17 fans, you'll know that I did some pretty extensive torture testing publicly to this marker. We are going to pump more paintballs through this thing in any one go than any M17 anywhere has ever seen on the internet. Clean. Just a little bit of mud. No big deal. Play cleaner water. And we're gonna give her a field bath. I've done everything you're not supposed to do to this marker and it kept going. There was literally no need for me to do what I did, but I just couldn't, I couldn't resist. So here I have the factory bolt guide bushing and here is the bolt guide bushing I had made up at my local machine shop. So the factory bushing sounds like this. Okay, you guys can clearly hear that. The bushing I had made up sounds like this. Factory bushing. My bushing. Okay, so essentially what this equates to is there's a lot less slop inside this bushing I had made up because this hole is about... 14 to 17 thousandths of an inch smaller than the one in the factory. I don't. So, I've created a special bushing to arrest movement of the bolt inside of the marker and keep it perfectly concentric to within a thou and a half of an inch between its resting, ready to fire position and entering the barrel. So, no more marred up bolt end and no more mucked up barrels, which I hear some people can encounter. Especially when you're like me and you fill your marker full of mud and then go, hey, watch what I can do. Besides going out and finding out, and if you follow me on Facebook, Mill Sig Owners Group, okay, that's not my group. I just attend it a lot. And whenever I find out something in my marker or make a discovery that I don't have time to make a YouTube video for, I usually get up there and snap a couple screenshots, a couple pictures, and share it right away. So that's the place you want to be if you want the most up-to-date information about your Valken or Milsig. Recently, I discovered that the Bloomin' cap comes off. That means that I can just unscrew that cap like I just did, push the old heat core o-ring out, push the new heat core o-ring in, lube it up, and put it back on faster than you can even go find your dental picks. Wasn't that awesome? I didn't do that, but I literally sat here and was like, I wonder, man, that'd be so, so awesome if I could just screw this off and change the O-ring and literally it popped off. I went, I made a change to my heat core. Okay. So if you look at your heat core, you'll see that where I have an O-ring, there is no O-ring. So when the marker goes to cycle and fire, that pin inside is going to unseal unseal from the heat core and 100% of the air is going to come out through here and we're going to have zero blowback this way and I don't even know if there was before but I'll tell you right now there isn't and it helps arrest the movement and the end of the heat core um, pin and o-ring so it it comes in truer and doesn't beat the tar out of it making it more reliable and the here comes the crappy part I know I said that I was going to give you guys the measurements for this absolutely free. In a sense, yes, I, I will. And allow me to explain myself because this is super important. And once you hear it, you're going to absolutely agree with me. Um, I have yet to prove in, or sorry, I have yet to prove that this design works. So I'm not going to go give you guys measurements for something that I a, haven't proven yet. And the more important reason why I haven't done that is because what I found was when the machine shop and myself, we mic'd this, so we measured it with a super high precision measuring device. 
and it turns out that this half of the bolt is a couple thousandths of an inch uh, wider than this half. This bushing, when I slide it over here, all the way around the edge, there's two thousandths of an inch gap. Okay, that's because this bushing was turned specific for this bolt. This bushing has fifteen thousandths of an inch gap all the way around. Okay, if I was to tell you what the ID of this bushing is, and you were to take your money to a machine shop and get them to make you one of these by copying this, which you already have, there's a very real possibility that you won't be able to get your bolt through it. You see what I'm saying? Because I can't guarantee that all of these bolts that exist in the world are the exact same size. So once I get this together, and I get all the pieces of the race gun together, I'm going to fire the snot out of it, and I'm going to take it all apart for you guys to see. And I'm going to tell you uh, exactly how much you need to have your bushing larger or smaller than your factory one. Right? So there's a relationship between the OD of this and the ID of that. I have something else super exciting I'm going to share with you guys. A little preview of what I'm doing next. So, you guys have had an M17, chances are you've knocked these pins out in the back, pulled the little clips out, maybe swore a bit, maybe lost a couple, maybe done whatever. Um, I'm going to come up with a new design for the uh, way we attach the back of our marker together. Not only because um, I want to improve upon the design, but I want to make it more convenient to take your marker apart. Wait, did you just say more convenient? Yeah, I did. So the general gist of this is, is there's three really tiny screws. One, two, three, that go across the top of the marker in the clamshell. There's a Phillips head screw that goes here. A couple through bolts here that squish your magwell together on the two halves of the marker. And over here, on the barrel nut side, you have uh, four fasteners that physically clamp the front half of the marker together. But... Uh, down here with your trigger mech, you only have one bolt. And the heat core, which is the epicenter for rear concentricity of the marker, uh, it's got pins. Pins that don't squish together to clamp the back half of the marker around the heat core. So the two sides of the body can expand out a couple thousandths of an inch. Again, going back to that thousandths of an inch thing. So make sure to follow, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up because YouTube loves interaction. Leave what you think of what I'm doing with the M17. Leave your thoughts down in the comments below. And guys, I apologize. I haven't really been around on YouTube that much. I've been uh, busy trying to make the scratch to afford machine shop rates and uh, not doing the YouTube thing. But I will see you guys as soon as I possibly can with another update. Thank you for watching this episode of Mech Tactical, the race gun build, and I will see you guys next time.